वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो फॉर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज लेसन नंबर सिक्सटीन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट मिनरल रिसोर्सेज इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल लर्न अबाउट फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्सेज एंड ओशन रिसोर्सेज सो लेट स्टार्ट लेट्स लर्न अबाउट फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्सेज नो वॉट इज मेंट बाय फॉरेस्ट एंड वॉट आर द यूसेज an extensive area of land covered by a variety of plants is called a forest a forest is a natural habitat of plants animals and microbes about 30% of the total land of the world is covered by forest forest perform certain specific protective and protective functions so let's learn it one by one first we'll learn about protective function of forest and then about protective functions of forest protective functions of forest to reduce the velocity of water flowing over the land to prevent soil erosion to help percolation of water into the ground to control floods to reduce the rate of evaporation to protect wildlife to maintain the balance of atmospheric gases thus forests help improve and maintain the quality of the environment so these are the protective functions of the forest you can also get to read these things in your textbook page number 109 next is the protective function protective function of the forest forest help in maintaining climate rainfall and oxygen forest give timber for housing and furniture besides various products like paper rubber and medicines the forest help percolation of water into ground reduce erosion of soil and control floods forest maintain balance of atmospheric gases reduce evaporation and protect wildlife significant decrease in forest areas designated as production forest slowly been replaced by plantation forest stability of production of plantation forest as generally monocultures so forest gives us many many things we get lots of things from forest so we should preserve our forest forests also give us lots of medicinal plants i'll give you some examples and some examples are also shown on the screen like you must be familiar with adulsa bel neem periwinkle cinnamon cinchona and many more adulsa is used for cough and cold bel for diarrhea neem for fever and cold periwinkle for cancer cinnamon for diarrhea and nausea cinchona for malaria Like this, there are so many, so many kinds of medicinal plants. Now, what you have to do, you have to do an activity. That is, prepare a list of medicinal plants like ashwagandha, shatavari, amla, hirda, bheda, tulsi, and the uses. Or any else also, whichever you know. It's according to your choice. You have to take the help of your grandparents or people in your neighborhood who have knowledge of plants to obtain this information. So, this will be an activity for you. forest wealth of india because we get strong and durable wood as also firewood from trees like teak mahogany neem acacia subaul wood is used for making furniture farming implements and various other articles as well as in construction work forest wealth includes fibers paper rubber gum and aromatic substances we get fragrant essential oils from lemon grass vanilla kevda Uh, and eucalyptus sandalwood and oil of eucalyptus are used for making soaps cosmetics and incense sticks in addition we get various fruits bulbs and roots honey sealing wax cashew dyes etc from forests so you can see that lots and lots of things we get from forest so forest is considered as a wealth and it is very precious now the question is how to conserve forests for conserving forests we can take certain steps like young trees should not be cut many more trees than are cut down should be planted and looked after the stringent restrictions that is laws regulations regarding use of forest should be strictly followed conservation of forest is a national problem so it must be handled with perfect coordination between forest department and other departments 
the cutting of trees in the forest must be stopped at all cost the special programs like van mahotsava should be launched celebration of all functions festivals should start with tree plantation so these are the few simple steps which is really important if we apply all these things then surely we can conserve our forests because they are very precious for us so this were some important points and important things about forest resources now we shall learn about ocean resources now we shall learn about oceans and their resources before we start let's recall certain things which you have already learned in geography as well as in science like uh, name the oceans of the earth i am sure you all know the oceans of the earth pacific atlantic indian arctic and antarctic are the five oceans of the earth now how is sea or ocean water useful to us even though it is salty we know that sea water is salty isn't it now oceans are salty because of dissolved salts oceans regulate the climate of earth and produce most of the oxygen oceans provide bio resources such as fish shellfish prawns and crabs that are source of rich protein food for the coastal people from sea water common salt iodine and minerals like tin chromium phosphates etc are available gems shells pearls are obtained from the sea oceans have large reserves of mineral oil and gas nearly 70% of earth surface is occupied by sea water the tides waves and ocean currents can be used to produce large amount of energy various living and non living resources are in and at the bottom of seas all these resources are called oceanic wealth mineral resources of the ocean generally the following mineral resources are extracted from ocean sources uh, thorium which is used in the production of atomic energy magnesium used in the flash bulb of a camera potassium the main ingredient in production of soap glass fertilizer sodium used in the production of cloth and paper sulfate used in making artificial silk and many more there are so many mineral resources of the ocean now we'll see about the bio resources in ocean bio resources in ocean fishes like pomfret sea fish as also shrimps and prawns they are sources of proteins and vitamins therefore mainly used as seafood dried shrimp bombay duck powder used as poultry feed and is a good manure shells used for preparation of medicines ornaments and decorative articles fungi used for the production of antibiotics shark and cod fish used for producing edible oil rich in vitamins a d and e sea cucumbers used as medicine for treating cancer and tumors so these are the bio resources in ocean in india the first mineral oil well sagar samrat was drilled in 1974 at the oil field called bombay high for obtaining mineral oil and natural gas from the bottom of the sea the natural gas from this well is carried via a pipeline to a place called uran scientists believe that billions of tons of minerals are to be found dissolved in ocean water there are very large reserves of tin chromium phosphates copper zinc iron lead manganese sulfur uranium etc in the ocean and sea beds we get many types of gems conches shells and pearls from the sea real pearls are even costlier than gold there are large scale reserves of mineral oil and natural gas at the bottom of sea we avail of this by drilling oil and gas wells now let's see about marine occupations fishing is the main occupation salt farming have become a big industry transport business by sea is also a uh, good occupation sea tourism means of financial income and manufacturing of decorative articles so we see that in how many different ways we get this marine resources and how it is useful for our daily live livelihood so always remember that natural resources are important for meeting our needs reserves of some resources are limited 
there is a danger that excessive use will lead to their early depletion we must keep a control on the use of natural resources to maintain the balance in nature so in this way we learnt about mineral resources forest resources and ocean resources and this lesson lesson number 16 natural resources are divided into two parts so for the complete lesson you have to watch both the videos part 1 and part 2 and read the lesson carefully and complete the exercise given on page number 112 and also the related activities you have to complete in your activity book so till then take care and study well